How's it going guys? My name is Jacob Gerard, and this is my story of my GPS failure over the keys and uh, I also had something happen a few days ago as well while I was flying. So what happened? Um, I was departing Marathon, Florida at about 10 p.m. give or take an hour or so but it was uh, at night time pitch black. Uh, during pre-flight everything seemed normal, GPS worked well, systems were working well, everything was looking perfectly fine. Uh, filed IFR and planned to pick it up in the air since it was uh, at the moment in uh, Echo Airspace the control tower was closed because it was late at night. Um, at about 200 feet while I was still par uh, climbing and flying runway heading I uh, lost GPS signal on the MFD and the map no longer worked it was just completely black. So this is the uh, route as you can see the uh, weather there was not how it was. It was a clear night. Um, that was the other day. Uh, I ended up flying in that as well. Uh, it takes roughly an hour and 10 minutes or so. Uh, weather was clear, calm, and I was going to use about 12 gallons. And you can see Marathon is quite far over water, so I had the uh, life jackets and flares just in case, um, especially my waypoint was uh, Carter right there. and. Uh, so you can see it was pretty far off. It was about uh, roughly 15 nautical miles or so. So what went through my mind? Um, as you can see there in the picture, there's the PFD, MFD. The MFD has the working map. Mine said no signal. Uh, can I conduct this flight safely without it? Um, so was you know was I able to? Did I file for GPS or not? Uh, is my MFD functioning at all? Um, luckily. It was. It was still showing me the engine readings and information like that. I could also look at my flight plan information. Uh, did I fly file using GPS? So um, luckily, I was perfectly fine with that, and I let the uh, you know controller know that I lost GPS. Uh, and then another thought was, should I turn around and spend the night in Marathon, which I didn't want to do, you know, spend the money, but to ensure safety, I. Uh, you know, I, it went through my mind and I felt like I could conduct the flight safely. Uh, if anything, I just needed to fly north. Um, there are closer airports that make it about half the flight time. Like uh, at the time Everglades City was open, Naples and Marco. So I wasn't too worried. It was all VFR. Um, after I calmed down from the situation, I, uh, I checked my fly, flight plan to make sure that everything was a go. Uh, you know, it could be done without GPS. Uh, approaches were available at the destinations that were not GPS based. Also, I had airports to the south that were uh, had approaches that were not GPS based in the case, you know, weather rolled in. Um, and like I said, the weather was clearing calm, so there wasn't bad winds, there was no clouds. It was a nice night sky. Um, steps after so uh, you know my first thought was to make sure that I'm flying properly uh, you know I turned on autopilot as soon as I could to kind of run through the checklist and see what I could do um, I scrolled through the G G1000 settings attempting to find if there was an issue that I could find there was not later I found out that uh, you know the aircraft was working perfectly fine after the flight even though the GPS just completely went out I also checked all the circuit breakers and couldn't find a single one out of place um, now, what I did do is I flew at a higher altitude, uh, and um, I told the uh, ATC we had no GPS. Uh, one of the reasons why I flew at a higher altitude is because I just didn't feel as safe without it, and um, so flying at a higher altitude increased my you know gliding ability. And uh, fortunately, we were able to make it safely without having to divert or return. Um, Another thing that happened actually was a few days ago, I was flying in a uh, pretty heavy IMC with my flight instructor, um, and I didn't know where our GPS just went out. Uh, I was sitting in the right seat, and you know, looking straight ahead, all I could see was just gray from the uh, map. And, um, you know, we were about 40 minutes into a flight cross country, and out of nowhere this occurred. Uh, luckily, it, uh, it did come back about 25 minutes later after we did a touch and go and some pattern work, but it was pretty interesting and uh, we don't know why it happened. We were going through some moderate turbulence, so we were bouncing all over the place and uh, yeah, 
But um, thank you guys, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.